Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. We've got some news today, not too much from Mattel, but I will actually start this out with the Mattel news, since it's not anything special, or anything that we haven't already seen, it's just the official images of the upcoming Brachiosaurus. I know we have seen quite a bit from the Brachiosaurus as of late, but since these new official images from Mattel were so nice, I did want to share them with you guys. There is one here showing some of the action features of the Brachiosaurus, which look really cool as well. And another image showing the incredible box that I had shown you previously, although this one is a bit more high quality. It really looks incredible. I cannot wait so much for this Brachiosaurus to release. Unfortunately, we don't have an actual release date yet, just an estimate as of the fall of this year. Maybe sooner as we don't know completely if that's when it will be. It's just the estimate that was given from Mattel. Regardless, I did want to show you guys these images if you had not seen them previously. From the Beasts of the Mesozoic, we have yet another head sculpt that has been finished. It is the Sinoceratops, and again, just like all of the others, it really looks beautiful. And although I am a huge fan of the Jurassic World and Jurassic Park franchise, it is nice to see a Sinoceratops coming out that is more scientifically accurate and not based on the Jurassic World version, although I am really excited for the upcoming Jurassic World version from Nanmu. It is still really beautiful to see this finished head sculpt from the Beast of the Mesozoic line from David Silva as it does look really, really highly detailed and overall just a great rendition of this dinosaur. And speaking of Nanmu, here are some images of all of their dinosaur busts that they have released previously or are about to release. As you can see, you've got the Berserker Rex, aka the Indominus there on the left. You've got the Carnotaurus right there a little bit to the right. Then you've got the Sinoceratops and the upcoming Spinosaurus. So they all look really cool. I assume the Carnotaurus bust is probably going to release around the same time as the actual Carnotaurus figure. That would be my guess, and that would also explain why we haven't seen the Sinoceratops or Spinosaurus yet. However, as far as the paint application and everything goes, they all look incredible. And then we also have a few extra images of the Spinosaurus bust coming out from Nanmu, showing again a little bit of a sneak preview as far as what the paint job on their larger figure will look like. However, this bust in general looks just absolutely fantastic and something that I would love to get a hold of once it does release, as I am quite a big fan of busts, but I would definitely be interested in getting the actual Spinosaurus figure as well from them. However, again, I wanted to show you guys these very cool busts from Nanmu. And since we are transitioning here, we are going to transition from images of the Spinosaurus from W Dragon. We have a few more images of the actual in-hand factory released version of the Spinosaurus, as some people have actually received theirs already and I think it just looks incredibly nice, absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. This shot right here of the head in general just shows how incredibly nice they have done on this Spinosaurus, even to the point of really getting the coloration of the teeth down almost perfectly in my opinion, because if you can recall back to Jurassic Park 3, the Spinosaurus really had like yellowish teeth, he apparently had a very poor dental plan, and you really see that shine through here with the Spinosaurus from W Dragon, and if you are interested in a size, you can see here an image next to the Eye Toy Tyrannosaurus Rex, and the Eye Toy Rex is really quite large, and the Spinosaurus you can see is significantly larger, and there is also an image here next to the Nanmu Berserker Rex, which it pretty much dwarfs, and even the PNSO Spinosaurus, which is also a huge figure. And again, the W Dragon Spinosaurus looks like it is a good bit bigger even than that. So, this Spinosaurus is just massive looking, and on top of being massive, is super highly detailed and overall an absolutely beautiful looking Jurassic Park 3 Spinosaurus. Also, any of you that were interested in the Exod Games Jurassic World miniature game that's coming out, I had shown you guys quite a few images previously of the game pieces that are just insanely nice looking and I did want to let you guys know that starting June 13th so tomorrow the Kickstarter officially starts for this game so if you are interested I would recommend going over to the Exide Games Facebook page and taking part in the Kickstarter right away I will definitely be putting a link in the description for you guys to head over there 
and be a part of the Kickstarter to get this game, this miniature game, underway. And I'm not normally a big LEGO guy, however this set is just too unbelievably nice to not show you guys as they have recently announced a brand new Jurassic Park styled set and you can see looking here at the box that it is just ridiculously awesome. When you look at the images of it actually put together it really looks quite cool showing numerous images of like a toilet and everything all within the Jurassic Park gates. You even have many of the famous Jurassic Park characters are included like Ian Malcolm, Ellie Sattler, Alan Grant, along with pretty much everybody else from the original film. So that is super, super awesome, including Ray Arnold, which is a really cool touch because you don't really get too many Ray Arnold figures. And of course, you get a Tyrannosaurus Rex as well. And I actually think they did a pretty decent job replicating the paint scheme in Lego form of the Rex from the film. One unfortunate thing that some people might be a little bummed out about is that this set will be only available in Lego stores and online on the Lego shop. The release date is July 19th and the retail price will be $249.99, which for me is just a bit too much for a Lego set. I definitely could not spend that much on a Lego set, however, it does look unbelievably nice. And in the final little bit of news I have, two new PNSO models are being released, and I cannot lie to you guys, they are beautiful just like always. There is Duke the Spin Ops, and without question, this model looks unbelievable as far as the sculpt goes and a lot of people might actually take some sort of joy in the fact that the paint scheme looks quite similar to the Cynoceratops from Jurassic World. It definitely has a very similar style paint scheme but again I think the overall model just looks jaw-droppingly beautiful and for a spin-ops to get a figure that is just awesome because I don't think I can recall too many figures of that species ever being made in the past. And there is also, and I apologize if I get the name incorrect, but a Urinosaurus or something along those lines. This is actually a species I know nothing about. I've never even heard of it previously, but it looks like some sort of a prehistoric version of a sailfish mixed with an ichthyosaur. However, it does look incredibly nice. I would be very intrigued to learn more about this species, and now that PNSO has brought it to my attention, I will definitely look into it. And uh, the overall paint scheme on this is so flashy and so insanely cool looking that this is another model I will definitely want to get in my collection and get reviewed for you guys along with the spin-ops. Both look absolutely jaw-droppingly beautiful as always presented from PNSO. They just do such incredible work and I will be really excited to get both of these in the very near future. So that's all the news I have as of right now guys. If you want more, make sure that you click the subscribe button down there and you hit that bell to be notified of any future videos as I try to regularly update you guys on anything going on in the dinosaur model collecting world. So again, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell to be notified, comment down below and like the video if you did in fact enjoy this and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.